Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another Notepad++ tutorial. Uh, today we are going to learn uh, how we can use column edit feature in Notepad++ to really speed up your HTML or web development. Now column edit is an extremely powerful feature and you might have seen some of your colleague may be using it and so we are going to learn this feature today and we'll use number of examples to really master uh, column wise editing feature and hopefully at the end of this video you will be able to use this frequently and so there are basically two ways to use column edit mode one is using a mouse and then the other one is using a keyboard shortcut now let's start with the mouse <clears throat> so in order to start a column edit mode you need to press an alt key on your keyboard and then you you use your mouse to select a column while making sure that you still press the alt key so let's try on this example right we have these five lines and we want to select a column and so here is what i'm going to do i'm going to press alt key and then using my mouse i'm going to select these columns so i've just selected one column of each line two three and onwards now i have selected all of them now the the coolest part of this column added mode is now I should be able to add it all these lines at the same time. So let's say I would like to change to test underscore example. <clears throat> As you can see that I was able to add it all these lines at the same time. Let me do undo and I'll go back to how it was. <clears throat> so again, in order to select a column using a mouse you need to press alt key and then use your mouse to select the 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 columns that, that you are interested for example let's see instead of test we would like to have you know testing and now when you press escape key now you have basically modified these five lines at the same time now the next way to do it is using a keyboard shortcut. Uh, in order to use a keyboard, you need to press again a Alt key and then a Shift key simultaneously. And then use arrow keys to select the columns. Now to be honest, this takes a while to get used to and you will have to do a little bit of practice. But once you master this, you will be able to do incredible amount of editing with such a short time and so these example that i'm showing you in this video actually i have included that into a description of this video so you can try it on your own so let's go back and let's try the keyboard shortcut and so again let's select these and let's try to change it so i'm going to press alt and shift key though you cannot see and then using an arrow key so I'm using a left arrow and now I'm going down and as you can see I have selected four lines and column it doesn't need to start with with the beginning at E I can even do it from X for example so I can again press alt shift and then go like this and then select these so and I can just add it anything so I'm going to change this to test and going to press or type test once you are done with the editing you can either press escape or just select somewhere else so if I select somewhere else I'm out of that column edit mode so we so far looked into two different ways how you can do uh, using a, a mouse and then how can also you uh, use keyboard shortcut there's one more that we would like to use and that is using a column editor. And so in order to do, use a column editor, again, you have to select your columns. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm using an alt key again, just to, to be uh, just like what we did in the first. And then 
select with my mouse and now I can go to edit and go to column editor edit and column editor now this even gives us little more flexibility let's assume that we would like to change these into a certain numbers okay and so what I can do is I'll I would like to add a number count at the end of this so I will select alt key I will drag down to the however many uh, columns uh, lines that I need to select I come here uh, by edit and column editor and you might have it selected as a text so make sure that you select number to insert and we want to basically give a incremental number so it starts with one you can even increase it by you know multiple of twos and threes but for for our example we just want one two three onwards you can even specify how many leading zeros you want but let's just keep uh, simple right now and I'm going to select one as my initial number and increase by one and I'm going to click OK and as you can see that it added one two three four five now this is just a five lines but you can do it as long as you want and it will save a lot of your time in fact let's put underscore because this is a hard to see so again I'll press alt key actually I'll move my mouse or oh, sorry the cursor to where I would like to put underscore I'll use alt shift and then go up and then I will put underscore and I'll press escape key to get out of this and now you can see that we have just used column editor to in to put a number an incremental number in that now so far we haven't really edited any HTML file but let's try that so I have a very simple HTML file and let's say there is an unordered list here and I would like to add some more entries to it now there are three of them I can increase it by some more uh, there is another sh uh, keyboard shortcut is called control D and it actually increases the number of lines it actually duplicates the line so I would like to change this to something else and also put a number to it so now that we know how to use column added you don't need to do it one at a time I'll select alt go down and use the mouse to select these entire text and then I can do example underscore you know one or, or anything I mean it can be anything right and then if I want to put a number I can select actually again alt and select these lines or this this column go to edit go to column editor and then just the default that we had was good enough start with one increase by one in fact let's change let's let's say start with two increase by two so it should be two four eight and so on let's see if it works so click OK and there you go as you saw it did increase it by two two four six eight ten twelve and so this column edit mode is an extremely powerful uh, way to edit your HTML code uh, and not only HTML you can use it with any source code but it is handy when you have number of list or or tables or you know paragraphs or anything that you have and if you want to quickly add it multiple of them you can do that let's do one more and I think we'll be done with this video so here again I have these ordered list this time I would like to add it uh, and the reason why I'm teaching you again and again is so that it just becomes a second nature so again we'll go to may, maybe right at the beginning we'll select we'll make sure that you press alt key and then with the mouse you can select the column and now I can say you know fruits and something like this right and then you can add if you need to add in fact uh, I made another video about 
previewing your HTML code. Uh, so make sure that you look at that, but you can preview our HTML that we just modified. And you can see right here, it, I just modified it and I can see that. In fact, let's change it and I'll show you. So Alt and mouse key. And let's say this is apples. So it's good. I'll do control S to save this file. And if I refresh, I will be able to see my changes right from Notepad++. You don't need to open a web browser, anything, the HTML preview uh, plugin, which uh, just check, check the video out, uh, will be able to give you the, uh, the preview right from Notepad++. So going back to our things that we started, uh, we learned two ways to do column edit, in fact three. One is using mouse and make sure you press Alt key and select with mouse. A keyboard shortcut which I said takes a little bit of time to get used to but once you get a hang of it, it can be really fast and quick way to, to edit multiple columns and that is using Alt and Shift key. And finally we also looked into column editors. Uh, column editor is under edit column editor and you can increase by numbers you can do repeats you can do a lot of things actually you can even put a text to it if you need to instead of just uh, numbers but numbers can be pretty powerful as well and so as I started this video with it is an extremely powerful feature make sure that you master it and you will be able to really speed up your web development using this uh, incredibly powerful feature so that's about it if you guys made it this far i hope you like this video and if you like it please click a like button and subscribe to my channel uh, to get more videos like this and if you have any comments please add a, your comment in comment section thank you very much bye